What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Coin Game. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we actually went out and checked out the Island Time Amusements Traveling Carnival, which kind of seems like it's just going to be in town indefinitely, which is A-OK -okay with me. But while we were there, we actually secured three fantastic prizes. We have a hammer. We have a blue crayon, and then we also obtained a, what they called, plain hot dog, which is interesting because it definitely has both ketchup and mustard on the thing. But that is completely beside the point. What we need to do with these is just get them thrown up into our at-home claw machine just for safekeeping. Since we don't actually have a safe to, uh, to contain all these very, oh no, <laughs> to contain all these very valuable items, we're kind of just using our at-home claw machine as such there we go yeah that ought to do it did it throw the hot dog out oh no it's good it's good okay so i gotta kind of be quick with it here because as you guys can probably tell it's already three in the afternoon which is mainly because we woke up bright and early and did all three of the jobs that we can do that being delivering the paper mowing barry's lawn and of course babysitting the two robot children Having said all of that, we now have $215.50, but the end goal for today's episode, ladies and gents, is we gotta get ourselves a golf cart. I am getting so sick of riding the bicycle around everywhere. The thing is just so slow, and it always gets hung up on the, the dumbest things when riding it around. Another thing we have to do real quick is get uh, Gare Bear some more food. I, I always wanna say Angel Duck, just because, you know, it's right there, but we got to get Gare Bear some food as well as ourself because we're looking a little light in the refrigerator. I don't think I'm going to buy any more cola because it seems like it does more harm than good. If we can find some Bartle Skeet, I will absolutely pick some of that up, but I think we can only get that from vending machines. So the first thing we're going to do is make a pit stop at Barry's Pawn Shop because Obviously, if we're going to obtain the golf cart today, we're going to need a buttload of cash. I think it was like 850 bucks or something like that. So we're going to head down there, see what he has on his little like sign, his little board of, of high dollar, high ticket items. And hopefully we have something that he wants. It'd be awesome if we have two things that he wants. Three, even four things would be fantastic. But I have a feeling we'll, we'll maybe get lucky enough to have one. I do also want to say a very happy Wednesday to all of you. Middle of the week. It's hump day, baby. We are almost there. Almost done with the week. So just hang in there, you guys. Hang on in there. Let's see what we got on Barry's high demand items. A hammer inflatable. We have that. Snow cone. And then the official Dunko plush, dude. Did, did you see that? Did you see that? Look at this board. Look at this board, child. Do you see this? Hammer inflatable. Official Dunko plush. Oh, it's, it's great. It is great. Okay, so surprisingly, we are actually lucky enough to, to have two things that Barry wants. But we're going to head across the street here real quick because we still got to get Gare Bear some food. And we still got to get ourselves some good old kid cuisines. Now, something that uh, the market actually has that we haven't looked at yet is their shopping carts. Now, I'm not sure if we have to take them from outside in or how this exactly works. I think... That definitely says cart return. I'm not sure. I don't remember if there's carts on the inside. I don't I don't think I saw any. Oh, there's one in here. I mean, we can use it if we if we really want to, but I'm not sure what good it's going to do. Let's try it. You know what? Something different. But as I mentioned, I'm not going to be buying cola, I don't think. We definitely want at least... Oh, God, this is going to be really... Oh, no. I am so sorry about your shelves over here, my guy. I just completely ruined your... Uh, your organization on your shelves. Oh, this thing's kind of hard to interact with. Uh, when we first walked up to it, it was really easy, but it's kind of finicky. Okay, so we have our Gare Bears food. Now we just need our kid cuisines. So, God, this thing kind of has a mind of its own. Oh, I'm not even close enough to get them. Okay, we'll leave the cart there. We'll add in one kid cuisine. Two kid cuisines. Oh, my. This is... This was a bad idea. Honestly, I think it's easier if we just take everything directly to the uh, the counter over there. But let's grab three. Let's grab three Kid Cuisines and we will be on our way. Okay, you gotta like look right at the handle to interact with this thing. Oh no, everything's just gonna fly out, dude. This is a terrible design. Who made this cart, dude? Kind of pulls to the right a little bit, I'll be honest. All right, we're almost there. There we go. 
Okay, now all we have to do... See, this didn't really save us any time. I feel like it's it's way faster if we just do it all by hand. But we got one last Gare Bear food to put up on there. 17 bones. Thank you kindly. We'll try to bring the cart over here. Oh, paper's fine. Thanks, paper's fine. I love how they always ask, you know? Alrighty, and let's put that in our inventory and we will be on our way, dude. We just gotta hop on the bike. We are running out of daylight real quick, though. We're gonna have to make this super, super fast. So now that we have our food and Gare Bear's food, we're gonna head back home and uh, probably just grab everything, I would think, out of our, uh, our at-home claw machine. Because to be honest, I'm not confident that just, just those two high ticket items, oh my god, just about did a full 360 there. Um, but I have a feeling that just those two high ticket items alone aren't still going to give us enough money to actually purchase the golf cart. So I'm going to bring everything and we're just going to try to pawn all of it off to Barry. Hopefully we end up making enough money today, dude. I don't know what we're going to do if we can't get enough money from the stuff we have already. Like we're gonna we're gonna have to spend just a ton of time at the carnival or at Jerry's. One of those two places, obviously, because we haven't been to the other locations just yet. But let's get the crayon, the hammer, the the Tootsie Roll, the Dunko plush. And then I think we'll probably just leave we'll probably just leave those in there. Oh, let's let's have a cola. Give us a little bit of energy and hurt our health. But that's fine. That'll give us an empty crushed can we can bring to him as well. And then let's head back downstairs. Um, and, and unload these groceries. Maybe maybe pop a Kid Cuisine or two in the microwave, you know? Couldn't hurt. And then, yes, Gare Bear, while the Kid Cuisine is cooking up, we will, of course, give you a little foods. There you go. That should hold you over for at least the rest of the day. Dude, we are dying quick. All right, we gotta, we gotta use up one of these first aid kits. Just eat the Band-Aids, I guess. Yeah, that's that's a good way to, to get healed up. Let's open just the freezer section, and we gotta put our other kid cuisines away. Alrighty, Gare Bear, we've had our kid cuisine. We had a little med kit action. We are ready to go. Let me make sure we have everything in our inventory. Looks solid. Let's head over to Barry's Pawn Shop and we'll see. We'll see. I got high hopes, but I know that things aren't probably as expensive as, as I think they're going to be. All right, Barry, we made it, dude. Let's go ahead and drop all this stuff just in front of his little incineration machine here and we'll see how much each one is actually worth okay five dollars is all for the hot dog plush yeah i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so i think we'll hang on to that until he actually uh, requires that one what about the blue crayon three dollars fifty dude this is unreal i was thinking those were going to be at least at least i don't know 50 bucks maybe something along those lines what about the the tootsie roll Oh my god, that's the cheapest one yet, dude. Three bones is all. Okay, so... Oh no, where's the... There's the crayon. Oh god, I thought we lost it. Let's put those three in our inventory, just so we don't lose it. And now, for the actual high-ticket items, we have the hammer. Two dollars and... Did he forget that he has these on his high-demand board? Or what's going... Two dollars and fifty cents. Hammer inflatable. Oh, there's something else. Gold. Yeah, we don't have that one. Okay, that that makes a little bit of sense then. That makes a little bit of sense. Let's throw that in our inventory as well. No sense getting rid of that. And then the Dunko plush. That's pretty good at least. $104. But God, we are so far away from $850 still. Nonetheless, dude, you know what? We just got to do it. We just got to do it. And while we're here, some cheesy poops might not be a bad idea. I don't want to spend any money. I don't want to spend any money, dude. Let's see. We're going to be up to 303. And with just under five hours left in the day here, I think we're just going to wind the day down at Larry's and we'll just see how many tickets we can actually acquire. All right, dude. Come on. All four of our swings there were a big swing and a miss. So we're going to try a different machine, I suppose. You know, come to think of it, we're probably going to be able to win more rare prizes over at the carnival just because it's a it's a different location. Larry's is like the starter location. So we're going to head to the carnival, the traveling carnival, and we'll spend the rest of our whatever, like we have four hours left of, of daylight here. And it's the sun's already going down. 
This is a mess, dude. I set myself up for such an incredibly tall order for just one single episode. So this is, it's gonna be a long recording today. I can already tell. We didn't have nearly enough time to actually win anything at the carnival last night. So instead, we came back home, went to bed, and now Gare Bear is probably gonna need some more food. So we'll just go ahead and feed him real quick. But we're gonna wake up here bright and early now, 7 a.m. And we're gonna go do our three jobs that we know we can do and hopefully we get a little bit more money. All right, we're speed running this. We're speed running this. No, 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 come back here. Okay, girl first, I guess. That's fine. Ladies first, right? We gotta open up the door, still hold on to her, and put her up in her charging station crib doodad. There we go. Now we just need the the young lad. Come here, buddy. We're gonna bring you... Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Oh, God. You don't need to get out any more toys. Look how much dirt you've already tracked around the whole house, dude. Unreal. Okay, we're almost done, though. Already. Already. Freaking speed run. Come on. Okay, we've got him, we've got him. Now all we have to do is clean the dirt, pick up all the toys. We can make our way over to Barry's and mow his lawn. There she is, already, perfect. Wait, what is, what is this? What the heck is this? Is this a camcorder? Dude, what is this? Oh, no, 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 Never mind. I think this is actually one of the kids' toys. Maybe, maybe we didn't pick them all up. That's really weird. I've never actually seen that before. Just before we go and mow the lawn, I'm gonna stop by Jerry's real quick so we can grab ourselves a Bartle Skeet. Dude, I thought you sold Bartle Skeet. What the heck? He, all he sells is cola. Somebody around here has to sell Bartle Skeet. I just don't remember who for whatever reason. So all we need is energy. Let's just get some cheap, cheesy poofs, dude. No big deal. $1.50? Consider it done. All right, that should hopefully hold us over until we're done mowing. Wait, where's my bike? Are you kidding? How am I supposed to get that down? Uh, maybe I can ride it from up there and it'll it'll like reset it. There we go. Come on, fall fall down to the ground. There it is. We love to see it, dude. All right, dude. Now, actually, I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't know why I always try to take it over to the same spot we got it from. But now that we have Barry's lawn completely mowed, looking nice, I think we're gonna head over to his pawn shop. We're gonna see what sort of high dollar, high ticket items he has for us today. Or I guess he's asking for today. This is also going to determine how many days, how many in-game days we're gonna have to sort of skip ahead. Oh, the Rasta Banana, first place cart trophy, a cow plush and a star plush twinkles? What the heck are those things, dude? Actually, you know what else we could do? If we, if we save and quit, these things should actually refresh. All right, we have just spawned in. In a new game, a sharky cat pillow hammer inflatable. Oh, natural. We don't have that either. Maybe, maybe one more time? <laughs> maybe one more time? I don't know. Second try here. Second try. What do we got? Barry's high demand item. Okay, Rasta Banana headphones. Hot dog plush with the works. Okay, we don't have that either. We have a plain one. Uh, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. We really need that golf cart, man. Come on, basketball. Stuffed coin, popcorn, peat, plush, fuzzy dice. Okay, the top three, all very doable. And I think we might actually be able to afford those just with our current uh, ticket amount. But first, we're gonna need a snack. Actually, he's got snacks. Let's just, let's just grab a snack from good old Barry. One cheesy poof coming right up. There we be, delicious, delectable. I love it. Actually, let's get two. Okay, basketball, stuffed coin, fuzzy dice. I think all of those are actually available from Larry's as well. So we're gonna head over here. Fingers crossed, man. We have enough tickets as we sit right now to just go ahead and buy those things. What's going on, Chadwick? We're just here to look at the prizes real quick. Don't worry about us. Stuffed coin, 700 tickets. We can definitely afford that. Uh, basketball, again, we can afford that as well. Fuzzy dice. 
Hmm, see, now we're pushing it. Now we're pushing it. Let's get the more expensive items. We'll disregard the, uh, the cheapest one. Which one was that? The stuffed coin. And we'll just get the more expensive ones here. The fuzzy dice and the basketball. How much do we have left? 925? Hang on, dude. We can do them all. We can do them all. My mental math is not the greatest, but you guys already knew that. So, here we go. We've got all three of them unless it came... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. We just gotta get that. Thank you. Sorry to step behind the counter. I know you probably hate that. But now we got all three of those in our inventory, dude. We're gonna take these over to Barry straight away. And I got a good feeling about this, okay? I don't know if it's gonna put us at the $800 amount, $850 amount, but I do think it'll at least make it so the next day after we do those three jobs that we can do, maybe then we'll have just the right amount of money. Barry, I know you hardly know us, but I really need you to be like super, super nice to us right now, okay? Basketball going in, stuffed coin going in, fuzzy dice going in, or I guess fuzzy die, isn't it? Because dice would be plural, meaning there's multiple. Anyways, uh, $6 is all, $4 and $2. That's it for all of those? That is it? Well, I mean, I guess. I don't see why, I don't see why we shouldn't do it. I don't see why we shouldn't do it. Let's be honest. Definitely not going to get us any closer to 850 bucks, but $12 is, is better than nothing, I suppose. While we're here, I'm also going to try to sneak over here and grab whatever items we can out of the trash can. They're on to us. They're on to us, dude. I found out that sprint jumping, like a lot like Minecraft in this game, makes you so much faster. Oh, there's another blue one. Nice. Alrighty, what else we got, dude? They're still tailing me. I can hear that bat swinging from miles away. What else we got, though? Let's see, got a crushed can, a couple of losing scratch-off tickets. Nothing, nothing too crazy. We'll take these items inside and we'll see what we can get for these things. It's not gonna be much, I know, but it'll be something, and something is always better than nothing. Oh, now this is just pathetic, dude. We just got the exact same amount of money for trash. The stuff that we just sold to him was definitely not trash. It was actually fairly sought after. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Oh, the old, the original amount was still on the screen. Okay, well, I'm good then. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. $3.50, so that puts us up to 422 bucks. And now I gotta figure out what we're gonna do for the remaining amount. I suppose... We could just keep skipping day by day by day doing our daily tasks and then just kind of throwing the rest of the day away. Although I don't know how I throw the rest of the day away in a timely manner. Like I would just have to sit here. The best thing we could probably do at this point in time is actually just to continue sort of cycling through these items by saving, quitting, and then relaunching the game. So I'm gonna do that a handful of times and maybe he'll have like an exotic prize that we have back at home. Maybe, right? We can hope. Well, let's see what we got this time around. A bag of stardust, Rasta banana, crayon inflatable. It's gonna be red. It is, of course. We have the blue one back at home, so that doesn't really do us any good. Let's do her again. This time for sure, dude. I got a good feeling about this. I love how the orange R32 keeps pulling up next to us. Hoverboard blue, stuffed coin. We unfortunately just sold one of those. Wasn't very profitable. And then a second place, I'm assuming go-kart trophy? Couldn't actually read that in time. Yep, cart trophy and then a Saturn plush. Alrighty, well, let's keep on going then. Many, many minutes later. All right, this is gonna be attempt number 311 or something like that. I don't think Barry really understands just how badly we need this golf cart. Crayon inflatable? Please be blue. There it is! Okay, we finally got the blue crayon. Uh, what was the exotic prize, though? I, I can't say I've ever seen that one. Hoverboard blue, fun capacitor, alien plush green. Okay, I think those other three items were actually supposed to obtain from the uh, UFO arcade, a place we haven't been to yet. Uh, and I'm, to be honest, really not supposed to know that it exists. Um, but, you know, spoilers. People said some things, and, and now I know. But it's all good. It's all good. That's actually the same arcade that's on the, the loading screen or like the home page for the game. The one with all the fancy pattern, colorful carpet and stuff. But uh, we're going to head back home, grab that blue crayon, and we'll see how much Barry's going to give us for that. 
But I think I think what we need to end up doing here is just letting time run out on each day after we finish our three uh, main jobs that we do every morning. And that's probably the fastest way we're gonna make, uh, make a quick buck here. Don't you worry, Barry. We got the goods, brother. We got the goods and a crushed can just because I needed a little bit more energy when we were leaving the house. So let's get the, uh, the big blue crayon in there. Any means necessary, and seven bucks is all for that thing, dude. Why are the prices so little? It, we're getting paid next to nothing for absolute treasures here, dude. Absolute treasures. But there we go, we're up to $429. And as I mentioned, I think I'm just gonna let the time run out. We'll do those, those typical jobs that we do in the morning and then we'll see how much money we have then. We're probably gonna have to do that for a couple days though, I'll be honest. The next morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our chores are complete. It is now the next day, so we'll see what he wants. A piggy bank is the only thing we could potentially get and we don't actually have any more tickets for that. So that would take an insanely long amount of time, but in order to help sort of pass the time after the jobs now. We're gonna have to do probably another day, but I did do a little dumpster diving. So we actually found a few winning, possibly winning scratch off tickets. But for right now, I think we'll just dump out whatever junk we have in here and we'll see what we can get for all that. I'll keep the jerky cause that's a good food source for us on the go. And then we'll probably hang on to that cola as well, just for some extra energy. But we'll claim our few bucks from this, whatever it, Maybe, I'm not even really sure. $3.50 for this one. Pretty solid, pretty solid. All trash, again, we love that. But we do have these potentially winning scratch-off tickets. So let's drop, whoops, didn't mean to drop the, the jerky. Let's pick that back up. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta try to win something here. We gotta try to win big. It can help us out tremendously. This is a $10 ticket or a $10 scratch off ticket anyways. $2.50, pretty good, pretty good. I'm okay with that. And now this, again, just trash. We can get an additional 50 cents from it in there. These are $5 tickets, so top prize probably not gonna be all that high, but we'll try. $2 on that one, so $2.50 in total with the, uh, the incineration as well. And the last one here, we're gonna do all four corners, and we didn't win anything on that one. Hey, that's okay though, that's okay. So after we incinerate those items and collect our monies, we're at 519. So again, we're gonna let some time pass. I'm gonna go to bed, we're gonna wake up bright and early and do all of our chores once again. And we'll probably end up having to do it at a third time and then maybe a fourth time and I don't know dude it's taking obviously way longer than I thought it would to obtain this golf cart in a single episode I probably should have worked ahead a little bit I'll be honest probably should have worked ahead try as I might you guys I am just having the worst luck trying to get enough money to get the stupid golf cart today that was a very very ambitious goal to set for myself but you know what I thought we had it I really, really thought we had it. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to save the golf cart for an entirely another episode. But that is A-OK. -okay. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.